So I haven't been making any videos recently and the reason for that is because of this. I've now got a van. So I decided um, a couple of months ago, I think it was, that it was about time that uh, I changed my car and my car had done quite a lot of miles and was getting on for a, uh, about 10 years old. So I decided to take the chance to get myself a van and this is actually going to be my daily driver as well so this is kind of a bit of a multi-purpose uh, vehicle but um, I decided to get a van and uh, turn it into a bit of a micro camper so that's what I've been working hard doing instead of making videos and taking photographs I've been uh, taking the opportunity to turn this van into a bit of a, a stealthy micro camper so let me show you what, it's, uh, what stage I'm at. It's a bit of an empty shell at the moment, but it's a Peugeot Partner, and it's only a short wheel base, so it is a tight squeeze, but don't forget, it is my daily driver. So this is where I'm at at the moment. It's, uh, it was bought as, as basically a van, uh, an empty shell, and, um, and the, the, the people I bought it from, they put a spoiler on the back, uh, side steps on it and, and alloy wheels. And, um, and basically the, the back here was, was a completely empty shell. So I've spent the last couple of months really um, putting uh, sound deadening, in, deadening into it, insulating it and carpeting it all the way through, up the walls and, uh, and on the ceiling. And, uh, and doing the electrics and, uh, and that's the stage I'm at. So all the lighting is, is installed, the electrics are installed um, and it's all going to be based on a Bluetti uh, power bank system. So that's, uh, that's going to be powering the, the electrics and, um, and that's it, that's the stage I'm at. So the, the floor is down, um, I had to replace the, the floor um, because the, the plywood on the inside was, uh, was a bit ropey and it had holes in it for tie down points. So I've completely changed the plywood flooring um, and put this uh, quite a nice, it's not blown vinyl, but it's proper camper van uh, flooring in. And all the, all the walls have been carpeted and, uh, and insulated as you can see. Got my electrics here already. Uh, it has got an external um, hookup for campsite power and things like that, uh, but it will be based on um, a Bluetti um, power bank. So, uh, and I'm quite impressed by that. I've already got it. It's not plugged in here at the moment, but uh, but that's where it will plug in using these uh, using these cables. Um, and as I said, it's got an external uh, 240 volt power hookup. So that's that's what that's going to be. Um, and then these are all the electrics that are kind of roughly in place and all tested and, and working quite nicely so uh, so that's what that is i've got a couple of reading lights up here one here and one over there um, i've got some power panels here for uh, phone charging and a cigarette lighter usb things like that um, and then i've got strip lights on the ceiling which you can see there and a dome light, reading light kind of thing. I've got a floodlight to floodlight out the front door and I've got a couple of floodlights on the back here and there um, to, uh, to floodlight the back when the, when the back doors are open. Um, so yeah, it's, uh, it's been a bit of a labor of love for the last couple of months, but I'm kind of getting at the stage now where I've got to start doing a bit of uh, carpentry and the plan is to, it, so bearing in mind it's a, it's a micro camper and a daily use vehicle, it's not going to have fixed gas or uh, proper running water. So the plan is to have the, the uh, kind of a cubby hole here for uh, the Bluetti um, power station and then to the left of that it's probably going to be where I'm going to have a, 
a kind of a water tank with a tap on it. So I've kind of got access to running water. Um, underneath is going to be a big storage cupboard. Uh, and then down the right hand side here is going to be um, kind of a bed, a pull out bed. So I'm going to be sleeping lengthways. Uh, and then at the bottom here, just here, is going to be some kind of uh, storage locker. Um, so it's not going to be an awful lot of space, but uh, um, I should be able to get it to work. And then um, the kind of access area that goes between the cupboard and the bed, uh, there's going to be storage for uh, one of my bikes in here as well, so I can put my mountain bike or my road bike in if I do anything else um, other than photography. Um, one of the big challenges I found was that, oh, this is, uh, I don't know if you can see this, it's gone a bit dark. Let me open this door up, get a bit of light in here. Okay, so one of the, uh, one of the other considerations was that um, I was thinking about putting a window into this, this sliding door. But I decided against it because it's only a small area and uh, considering the heat loss through a window and, um, and I thought this was quite a good storage area as well. So this was a challenge to the carpet, getting the carpet to go around here, but I'm quite happy with the result. But one of the other uh, problems with um, this van in particular is that when you buy a Peugeot Partner. So the Peugeot Partner is the same as a Citroen Berlingo and a Vauxhall Combo. So they're all made in Spain in the same factory. They just put all the different manufacturers, just put a different front end on. Um, but regardless of which van you buy, um, you can't actually open the sliding door from the inside, which is a bit of a deal breaker in a way. But fortunately, um, all three companies make uh, a passenger version of the uh, of the van. So in Peugeot's case, they make a Peugeot Rifter, uh, in which case there's seats in the back here and kind of a big boot space. So what I managed to do was source a different door lock that comes from the Rifter and an inside door handle that comes from the Rifter. So I've managed to retrofit those into the van. Um, sliding door and I can now open it from the inside. So that is something I'm really pleased with, really happy with that. Um, Cause that makes life a hell of a lot easier um, and more user friendly when you're kind of using the back here. You can open the back door from the inside, but it's gonna be a little bit difficult to get hold of the, uh, the, in the inside handle. Cause once the unit is here, um, it's going to be quite difficult to reach that release handle from the inside. So, um, so that's why I've done that. So I'm quite pleased with this. So you can see that I've got some floodlights at the back here. They're not working at the moment because I've not got the Blue Eti plugged in. But, uh, but yeah, I've been spending a lot of time and effort carpeting the inside and insulating it all so it's, so it's all ready. For the next stage but the trouble is now that I want to spend some time outside cutting wood to make the units it suddenly turned very cold and I know it's dry but it's not very practical to be cutting wood outside So it needs a bit of a wash and a bit more work doing to it, but uh, it's going to keep me busy for uh, probably another couple of months. So I'm hoping that uh, once it's all done, I'll be able to use it, get out and uh, do a lot more photography. It makes life a hell of a lot easier for me to get out onto different locations and also further afield locations as well. So that's the plan. That's why I got the van. and. Uh, watch this space. Thanks for 
joining me on this very quick channel update and I hope to see you again soon. Take care, bye for now.